meeting September 18, 2023. Counselor Andrews. Here. Gwaltney. Here. Wolverton. Here. Sims. Here. Nelms. Here. All right. Okay. Uh, everybody's here as five members. Um, I will begin with a motion to dismiss the reading and approve the minutes from July 24th. So moved. Second. Okay. Uh, motion from Councilor Sims, second from Councilor Gwaltney. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, that passes five to zero. Thank you. Okay, we have no on, uh, no old business. Um, do you want me to? Yes, I don't know if you want to wait for them. Then. I mean, if they don't come in, can we just, I mean, like, you know, move yeah. along? Well, no, that's just really well. I mean, don't get what you're telling them. Individual Perhaps responsibility. We got places to be. Not sit around waiting for people to get their asses. There's two, two buttons. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Got a pack of bag. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You got what? You got flags. Just leaving tomorrow early. Okay. Time with the children. All right. No old business. New business. 08-09-23. Public hearing set for October 9th, 2023 at 6 p.m. for consideration of rezone 55 Bagby Drive and 65 Bagby Drive from C5 to mixed use. Applicant is John Chapman. Under 5655 Capital Partners LLC to re facilitate the re rehabilitation of two existing vacant off office buildings for a new mixed use development containing residential apartments. I'm going to hand it over to President Wyatt yep. at this time. So, uh, just sort of a point to make at the beginning because uh, the item mentions uh, what could potentially be seen as restrictions. Uh, those restrictions. The city cannot approve uh, those restrictions, any restrictions for who lives there. Other, than the only legal, legally discriminatory group that can be approved is 55, age 55 and up, and even then you've got to go through, jump through a bunch of hoops. But uh, that the federal law requires. But the city can't approve any other restrictions on who can live in a public, in a regular residential apartment. So I say that just to start, front, try to frame the issue with everybody as we start. There's, there's certainly no problem with anyone asking for a rezoning to MXD to include residential or even residential with 55 and up restriction. Yes, sir. Did the Planning Commission have this information when they voted? Uh, I, I don't know if they did or not. I can't we did not. We did I not. I think it needs to go back to the Planning Commission. I think you're setting the city up for a legal challenge in the future if there's something that comes up as a result if they didn't agree with the correct criteria. Or the applicant. Yeah. Well, right. Yeah. I think it would be more likely the applicant. But yes. Okay. That's, that's where we are with it. It is, it is simply that there's only one group that you can restrict. Okay. I am unsure how to proceed. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> I, I think it's just a little committee as to what the committee would like to do, whether okay. it's to send it back to the planning commission with this information or whether it's to proceed forward and, and send it out. I, I guess we already have a public hearing, public, public hearing at for the night. All right. So we'll have to go forward with that. But if it goes back to the planning commission, I would suggest that that probably could be handled pretty easily. Yes, that's right. Would it be possible to alter the request? I, mean, I don't know, or is it too late in the yeah. process and they have to start over? Yeah, so I think that's actually what Andy's concern is. is he's yeah, saying I'm just that since the planning commission has already voted on it, it would be better to send it back for the alteration for them to right. consider it before it comes back to us. It's so just I think, think y'all are saying the same thing. It's just the process. Yeah, and that's so I'm very concerned about the that piece of the process and what that does for, you know, any kind of box checking or so if, if there even is one, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there would. I mean, it, it, I would be concerned I if I had made a decision based a off of different challenge. information than, you know, or if they didn't have that correct information. All the 
the city can do is we can't put restrictions that prohibit the fair housing act. So the request is specifically for what you would call discrimination against. Well, it, it, let me say this to you. It involves restricting it to, we can't exclude people that for religious reasons, race, gender identity, all, all the protected classes. We, we can't adopt an ordinance that prohibits those uses that are controlled by the Fair Housing Act says you can't discriminate based on all those different categories. This would be a little bit of inverse in that if we were going to restrict it to the protected classes, we can't do that to the exclusion of any other protected classes. Does that make sense to you? I will say, you know, I was at the Planning Commission meeting and I heard a question asked from a Planning Commission member about um, any restrictions on the 55 plus and they said in response at that time to the Planning <coughs> Commission member that that it would be really 55 plus with the sentiment that a certain population may be drawn to the residential development but that there wasn't restriction to that effect. That's what I heard answered in the Planning sure. Commission and so meeting. The, and I, I wasn't at Planning Commission so I, you know that may be <coughs> that may, may be enough for the committee to be willing to move forward with with a rezoning based upon MXD only. MXD only. Uh, we can't put further restrictions. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's all I'm saying is we 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 can't put further restrictions on it. You can. The language that was used is LGBTQ affirming. So it's not necessarily that someone is a member of the LGBTQ community; it's that they are affirming of LGBTQ. So that's that was the we distinction. Can't adopt an yeah. that. That's still a restriction. Right. And it didn't get. And I agree. I mean, that's so in the commission meeting. From my recollection, again, I mean, I'm sure there's minutes that was asked: is how do you, how would that be decided if that person was affirming? And then, I mean, the, the response I remember is that well, it's just you know, basically assume that that's who would be who would be applying. But there's net because of but anyways. I mean, we can let the applicant explain that part but well I, was gonna ask, I do remember the question coming up I was going to also ask you if you could address the intellectual and developmental disabilities aspect of it and then I was going to ask Mr. Chapman if he wanted to say a few words that's in the same category as the other okay that's it's another restriction, restriction. That we can't place on the property to the exclusion of all the other protected classes based on religion race all the protected classes yeah so so I think you've got a, a couple of options the committee has a couple of options Send it back to the Planning Commission if you want to for a clarification. Well, they've made a recommendation they can't make, essentially. Well, they've made a recommendation, but the decision's up to us. And I, I would tell you that we can't violate sure. the Fair Housing Act, okay. and you can't adopt an ordinance that does that. So that's my, that's my question, though, just because I don't try to watch a lot of committees. But if the decision is ultimately up to the council, then we can remove any language that's problematic or potentially illegal. And ultimately, that's going to be what's written into whatever decision is made so the, the fact that she made a recommendation that's not the decision so I think we could clean it up if we decided to pursue it if they're willing to remove those restrictions yeah so I I don't disagree with that I, I think the process is not for black and white I mean there, there there's you know it, it's really how the committee feels if there were something I would tell that it, where there was a clear path of what to do I would tell you um, but I think it's really just what the committee wants to do in terms of if you're concerned that the Planning Commission would have done something different then and you may want to hear what they have to say about it then okay if you're if you feel like the Planning Commission has already sort of made its recommendation and you want to move forward we can move forward but we can only move forward without we can only move forward with without rezoning to MXD yeah, and that that's all we can move forward with here so with so that's the framework of where we are and it's just up to the committee as to what y'all want to do I don't know that there's a right or wrong answer well I'd like for everyone to hear from Mr. Chapman so if you want to come up and um, you've heard this conversation and I'm sure, sure. y'all have made it out to the hallway this time too, but. oh and so yeah if you'll sign in here and then just stand at the front of the table and have a dress any members of
Certainly. Well, we appreciate the opportunity to be in front of the subcommittee tonight, and um, we're appreciative of the vote received at Planning Commission. Obviously, we are very passionate about the project, um, but we certainly do not want to be seen as discriminatory. We, we, we operate a lot of multifamily units in multiple states and certainly do everything above board and, and want to continue to do so. And it's certainly, if ever there was a project that is an uh, antithesis of discriminatory, it's, it's this one. So um, we do have counsel here with us tonight if, if Brown needs to jump in and weigh in. Um, so I don't know, at this point, do you want to hear more about the project or do we want to discuss our flexibility? I think we need to discuss your flexibility, yeah. So. Uh, no? Can I jump in? Yes, yeah. please, <laughs> President Wyatt. I, ra rather than going into a long discussion about the flexibility, which might not be the best thing for any future legal action, um, I think the question is simply, are there restrictions or are there not, right? I mean, that, I, I think that's, that's the real question is, are you planning on having restrictions separate from the 55 and, and up? No. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Um, do any other committee members want to discuss, weigh in, or we already have the public hearing set. Is that right, President Wyatt? Have we already said the public hearing? Okay. President Wyatt. Well, yes. The, pu the public hearing is already set, it's correct? Already set. Okay. Right. Okay. Other committee members and thoughts on <coughs> proceeding or sending back to the planning commission for further discussion. Not on the committee, but you know, the, are, are, is the planning commission like other committees? There is just a recommendation. It is a recommending council. body. Yes, correct. It is. On this issue, on rezoning issues, it is. On yes. other issues, it's that's right. Resurveying okay. uh, plan urban developments, but yes, on rezoning, it's a recommending body to the council. So, I'm fine with moving forward as long as there's not any other restrictions other than the seniors 55. Plus. <coughs> Which there's not, right? We're not even we're not even pursuing 55 and plus, right? Like, it, like, no restrictions at all, or are you pursuing 55 and plus? Yeah, my question period. was other than 55. Okay, other than I'm sorry, thank you. Okay, other than yep, and your answer was no. Okay, thank you. Okay. Is there The renderings are nice. Do we, want, do we want to show those? The renderings? Yeah, Brian, do you want to show those? To, to be clear, it is 55 plus. Correct. Restricted, okay. I wrote down no restrictions. Okay. That's exclusively 55 plus? Like, like the entire. Yeah, I, I think I so. I guess right. I was under the impression it was not necessarily. Well, in that event, if we need to have them, we don't need to have 55 and up. We just don't need to have them. What were we supposed to What were we supposed to do? So, I, I guess we were trying to determine is there a restriction that, that the housing would be 55 plus only or not? I guess. Well, at the, so, the plan that we heard was 55. Bagby was not 65. Bagby was correct. Is that right? I have that right? I have it backwards. I think both structures. Okay. Um, the, the goal is to have a resurvey done to combine the lots. So really, you have two existing buildings that currently are on two separate parcels. Those parcels all become one. So it's really one project. Randall, did you want to? Yeah. Play the, it? The, um, and. Obviously, I wasn't at the planning commission. Just uh, came here today. Randall Miner, for those who don't know me, attorney at Landon Nexon. Um, so John and I, he brought me in last week just to kind of um, help navigate this process. Uh, I think what would be helpful for everyone is if we're given an opportunity to just amend the application materials, just to make sure that we're not seeking any, um, you know, conditions and clarifying what we're doing. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So that is going to go back through the planning commission. Well, then. so what what I would propose, if you know, and I don't know you guys' process, but just we can do that uh, on our own, work with you know Kale and whoever else we need right. to work with to get that done. Um, I would prefer to stay on the agenda that we're on because it sounds like the ordinance doesn't have any conditions. The so, draft ordinance. Yeah. So so well, that. It's been published because it has no restrictions. Okay. Great. It so, has to be in the final development plan. So that way we have 
our material is clear um, as to what we're seeking, what the city's getting, and the ordinance is clear, and then you guys vote hopefully to approve this, then your ordinance would be clear as well. So that that's what I would like to do. If that's we great. can do that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Thank that's you. perfect. Okay, awesome. Okay, well, um, so that being the case, we're going to leave this here, move on to our next item. So stay put. 090923 public hearing set for October 9th, 2023 at 6 for consideration rezone 85 Bagby Drive from C1 Office Business District to Mixed Use District. Applicant John Chapman, owner 85 Capital Partners LLC, to facilitate an expansion of the adjacent Magic City Acceptance Academy through the rehabilitation of an existing office building to accommodate additional educational activities and teaching space, as well as office space for various mental health and life service organizations. The Planning Commission had a vote of 7 0 to 1 for a favorable recommendation. Um, you want to go ahead, Mr. Chapman? Certainly. So, this okay. is a continuation of, of hopefully the larger redevelopment of Bagby, um, which we're, we're invested in now through our redevelopment of 75 Bagby that has operated now going to the third year of the Magic City Acceptance Academy, which is a charter school uh, that was an adaptive reuse conversion of that existing structure at 75 Bagby. The school has, has excelled. Um, they have certainly um, hit their targeted missions plus some and are looking for future growth so we're hoping to add 85 Bagby into the existing Magic City Acceptance Academy campus if you will um, the proposed plan calls for contained within the three-story structure the second and third floors to be exclusively for the use of Magic City Acceptance Academy itself for additional programming for both educational, um, other performing arts, visual arts, and other um, extracurricular activities related to the school function. Because there is such a large component of mental health and counseling and lots of um, services additionally that are provided to the students and also members of the community at large, the plan also includes the first floor being redeveloped into um, offices in various locations for mental health oriented services to be housed from. So because those services are not directly associated with the school function, we are before you seeking MXD Rather rezoning than of that. Right, right. And again, at that point, that really allows for kind of continuation of the city's master plan. If you'll remember, at the top of the hill is already MXD. So now by 75 being kind of a outlier, if you will, this kind of would, in our opinion, um, lend itself to the city's master plan as well. Do you have any renderings, any drawings of 85 Bagby or anything? Yeah, Brian, Brian, it was on the So maybe on well, this slide here, if you'll leave it here for a moment, uh, the, the, about page top is the existing Magic City Acceptance Academy, again, that's located at 75 Bagby. Three stories there, we have our storm shelter in the top right portion of the page that we constructed as part of that adaptive reuse. The plan here is to now connect 85 Bagby via a pedestrian bridge at level two of the 85 Bagby structure, which comes on grade at 75 Bagby. So the subject parcel is this one here on the bottom page. Again, three stories and the intended uses <coughs> contained in the building there, as I just suggested, on the first floor mental health and second and third floor school function and activities. And we did have a rendering of some type of exterior elevation. There you go. This is 65 and 75? No, or this is 85. 75 and 85. No, th this is actually 55 and 65, oh, okay, so it's okay. a little bit confusing, but that's gotcha. existing condition. Okay, gotcha. But I do so love the pedestrian to see path would be a new, new construction okay. piece. And I do love to see those buildings being put to good use, yeah, those absolutely. unloved, lonely little buildings being put yeah. to good use. Yeah. So. Can I ask one question? You may, of course, President Wyatt. Just for a clarification, so with the uh, Ordinance right. Are you proffering that these these are the, this is the only use within MXD that you want? The difference being 
if you want to come back later and do something different with it or someone else a subsequent owner wants to come back later and do something with it mxd is a broad category, broad category and so that question is probably going to come up so that's that's the only reason i'm asking is yeah no, as we discussed at planning commission i, I feel like at length um you know we <laughs> our intended use is what we will absolutely do i mean there's no um there's no question about that so again that would be academic or educational function floors two and three first floor general office MXD zoning gives me concern just because of how broad it is. And, and I, today, the use is great, right? My concern is when growth occurs, you need a larger facility, they build a campus somewhere else, or other uses become, and this turns into apartments or, or gets bulldozed because the zoning is where someone, another developer wants it to be. So that's where my heartburn comes from. But the proffer of the restrictions, if I've got this correct, would be that it's medical office, uh, Mr. President. Yeah, not our. I'm just making sure I understand. Not, not, to, not, medical. not to interject, but we don't need to turn to medical yeah. office again. It doesn't yeah, necessarily it still be still be medical. Fixed. Okay, be I got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Gotcha. So. What the ordinance would say is that specifically they proffer to facilitate the expansion of the adjacent Magic City Acceptance Academy through the rehabilitation of existing office buildings to accommodate additional educational activities and teaching spaces as well as office space for various mental health and life services organizations. That's what it would and that's, say. Okay, that's the restriction. That's correct. Right. Okay. That's what they proffer. Perfect. That's right. Correct. We can't restrict that, but if they proffer. Okay. Yeah, that's up to them as to whether right. they proffer. Yeah, okay. And as to the concern related that to bulldozing the site, again, I think our development plan and site plan is also part of our approval process. It is. Okay. That's right. It would be part of it. Yeah. I just want to have sleep at night because MXD is become homeowners a desirable place. MXD is a desirable and loose zoning, so it has its applicability, but it's just dangerous to protect the city long term. Okay, any other questions on 85 Badley? Yes, that's all I'm on. The school itself has been good for the redevelopment of the area and the revitalization of War II, particularly. I agree, 100%. Yeah. Make a motion. a lot better since you purchased them. Yes. Okay. Okay. Make a motion to send out without recommendation pending the public hearing. So just Second. 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 Yeah. Second. Did we do the first one? Yeah. No, we're carrying no. that one. Either. Okay. Um, this okay. is in relation to 09 this is and 83. Yeah, okay. this is 85 back. So okay. I have a motion from Councilor Sims. Is that a second from Councilor Nelms? Yes. All right, Councilor, uh, second from Councilor Nelms. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that goes out to council, so that passes five to zero, goes out to council for an October 9th public hearing. Okay, all right. Okay, without objection. The other one was carried over. Yeah, because they're not after. Right. Without objection, we're adjourned.